Shout our orders from the rebels. Be ready, quick and soon. For the pikes must be together at the rising of the moon. At the rising of the moon. At the rising of the moon. The pikes must be together at the rising of the moon. And come tell me, Sean O'Farrell, where the gathering is to be. At the old spot by the river, quite well known to you and me. One more word for single token, whistle out the marching tune. Put your pike upon your shoulder at the rising of the moon. At the rising of the moon, at the rising of the moon. Put your pike upon your shoulder at the rising of the moon. Mm. The silver edge of the sharp steel pikes glistened in the faint moonlight. They had attached each pike head to a slender ash plant. The receding cycle of the September moon gave just enough light to see their way, yet not to reveal the silhouette of a man, a perfect knight. Sean and Jamali passed the pikes along the line of men. The days of fighting with pikes were over since the musket had arrived, but they still carried a huge symbolic meaning. Manus O'Donnell handed each man a sod of turf. He had soaked the peat in a pot of boiled goose fat to make ignition easier and ensure a bright flame. Another man handed each of the dozen men a small sack that would cover a man's head with slits cut out for peeping eyes and panting mouths. No friend or relation knew their whereabouts that night, nor the nature of their business. Even the men present were yet to be briefed on the night's mission. Sean walked along the line of men and checked each had a pike, a sod of turf and a hood. <coughs> he said. But the listen now order was unneeded, as twenty-four years strained for his every word. While well, chest rose a little quicker, and volunteers licked dry lips awaiting their instructions for the night ahead. Right men, he continued, the aim of tonight's mission is to serve fair warning. We have focused on the Scottish hirelings of the Sassanic occupiers up to now. It is time to give the attention to the land agent that hired them. All going well, nobody gets hurt. We will come around the back of the hill to the household of Captain Hudson. Manus noticed a collective intake of breath. Although Sean had secretly warned him, his belly was like the flapping wings of a panicked crow caught in a narrow chimney. He drew breaths a little faster too as he carried a bucket with a smouldering solid turf. <coughs> Out from many the moat wall cabin eyes were peering through the night. Murmurs ran along the valley to the banshee's lonely crew, and a thousand pikes were flashing at the rising of the moon. At the rising of the moon, at the rising of the moon. A thousand pikes were flashing at the rising of the moon. All along the singing river, river, that black mass of men was seen. High above their shining weapons flew their dear beloved green. Death to every foe and traitor, whistled out the marching tune. Say, hurrah, me boys, for freedom at the rising of the moon. 